One of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Ted, I was hoping you could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and... History. Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, tour. Oh, they're uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Oh, feel. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? 
You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of... Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! <sighs> Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect to disturb half the creepy crawlers in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Sterling. Hmm. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. <sighs> Another of Cavassia's poems. At your service. I'll take him. Whatever you need.
Nothing appeals to you? What can I make for you? I'll disinfect my tools. Well, if you change your mind... Best of luck. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keep... Uh, let's just keep moving. Bomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Point, though. 
Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. The boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of Indian leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly... us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left.
So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, didn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfine. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Whoa, an Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. But I will be slow. Thank you, watch out. that could help us. I'd grab whatever it picked up in the process.
agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <clears throat> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. Thank you. I'm here for you. happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set light of any old wrong. You're on fire, Peter! They will fire! 
One raven down. Behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. <laughs> Those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. What stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Look, 
We can chisel through this door. Oh, glad to see that still works. Nice. Nice. Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on, then. Oh, what? That guy's was huge! Yes, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Coming in. Is it? Yeah. My jawline. See? It's 
growing. Is it? Oh. You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit. Father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. Seem to get rid of those things. <laughs> thing you've ever fought I do not know you can't remember why do you ask I don't know so we can compare it is not a competition mm, not yet the dwarves survive because of you I am not wrong there brother Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Spartal time. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Look, another mining route. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. We could swing across that uh lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. 
Thanks. It's gotta be the right spot. Battles. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Go! 
Impressive. That should help. so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given the answer to the problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. 
This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfine swag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rig. Look, the fish are coming back. Oh, so they are. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it would freeze. <laughs> Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from a. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. There's the watchtower I spoke of. We need to get through the door on the ground floor. Thanks for grabbing this. How can I help? Might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. I 
see you've got some relics of the Dwarven Resistance. I'll take them off your hands. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Ah. The mining rig's disabled. It seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. What is this? A Loonbokka. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could. Uh.
creatures heard it. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Never anger your feelings. Whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. <clears throat> I know. was hiding some sort of device. I need new socks. What has happened? They will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. They will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will.
inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. down there but it looks like it's blocked Back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. Save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving, I don't understand. Let us continue.
winding down that rope should take us where we need to go. <laughs> Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. <clears throat> this creature, the mining room, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. Thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is.
Back to Thor and Odin stories? Well, wait. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Enough. We will continue later. We're looking for Durlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your... You can help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. A fine hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay on the floor. I beg your pardon? Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. <laughs> 